The finance minister continues to try to convince Canadians that all is well with the economy. But what she doesn't seem to understand is that the majority of Canadians just don't see it that way. What they do see is that their family can't afford the same groceries that they used to, and that they will try and squeak in just one more trip back and forth to pick up the kids from school before having to buy another tank of gas. Canadians are facing a cost of living crisis. When will the finance minister take this inflation crisis seriously and provide solutions? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, right Honourable Prime Minister. You know what's driving up the cost of living this week? The cost of groceries, the cost of uh, parts for manufacturers? the blockades that the Conservative Party continues to support at the Coots border crossing, at the Ambassador Bridge in Windsor, and even in downtown Ottawa. Canadians have struggled for two years because of this pandemic in so many different ways and have stepped up uh, and made sacrifices, and we've been there to have their backs. Why, right now, does the Conservative Party not have Canadians' backs and instead choose to support those who are blockading their neighbours and our economy? Yeah. The Honourable Member for New Brunswick.